good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen it is very exciting news ladies and gentlemen because we have brand new aew not only action figure reveals but some epic news for aew action figures man if you guys did not know this weekend because we have all out they're doing an aew all out fan fest this was yesterday actually i didn't want to post it yesterday you know i wanted to take the day off to relax there with the draft video if you guys missed the draft video definitely go check that out but i did want to relax and i was going to hit you guys with the news today to celebrate all out AEW all the great things man so I cannot wait to get into it with you so many great figure reveals shown off so many great things coming and I just want to dive straight into it man so let's go ahead and start things off man let's start off with the AEW Unmatched series you guys know that we do have AEW Unmatched series number three coming towards us and that is what we'll cover first here man starting out first we do have the LJN Darby Allen figure now you guys know that I'm not big on the LJN figures but I will say the Cody from series number one was really sick I did enjoy that figure. It was very fun to uh, just see that classic style. I really like the packaging. And this Darby Allen figure is really no different. I think it's going to look great up next to the Cody. And I'm actually kind of excited for it. I think it's pretty cool. Honestly, like if they had their own style, like if they only did an LJN wave, it would be fun to collect as well. But throwing them into the Unmatched series here and there is pretty fun too. But the Darby Allen figure looks good. Kind of looks like his Series 2 figure. Or was that Series 2? Or was it? I think it was Series 3. My bad. Series 3 Darby Allen figure. But that looks pretty good, man. Let's move on forward. Next up, guys, we're taking a look at AEW Unmatched Series number three, John Silver. Now, I will say I like John Silver. I like the interchangeable head sculpts that we're getting with this guy, but I will say I feel like the torso and the shoulders on him are absolutely jacked. I don't know what it is. Do you guys feel like John Silver's this big? I don't know. I feel like it may be a bit, you know, a tad oversized, you know? I don't think he's quite this large. We'll see how it comes out, you know, when we get the figure in hand. Also, hopefully these kick pads are rotational like Miro and we don't get a, you know, an SCU Frankie Kazarian situation going on so hopefully John Silver will have the articulation but I love the interchangeable heads you get the serious face and then you get the smiley happy face with the purple trunks looking pretty good I think John Silver's figure is going to be pretty successful given on how big that torso is we'll have to see about that but not only do we have John Silver in the wave guys we also have Stu Grayson other members of the Dark Order coming in and this one looks good as well I really like the formula we got going on right here again just like John Silver Grayson is going to have the pissed off head sculpt kind of gris grimacing and stuff like that and then you have the yelling head sculpt. Really cool to see, you know, two different expressions right there, which we really enjoy. You know, uh, the, the pissed off face is, is one thing, but to have the yelling face on top of that is pretty cool. Really enjoy that. That looks freaking awesome. On top of this, man, we also have Evil Uno. We have Evil Uno coming to us in series number three of the Unmatched series. Really great stuff. I honestly feel like his torso could probably be a little bit wider, man. Evil Uno is a pretty big guy, and, uh, you know, this looks like his, his articulation is probably going to be hindered here. Doesn't look like they did the the, uh, the vest there in two separate pieces so it's probably going to be a torso with an overlay on it which is you know give or take I don't know the mask sculpt looks pretty cool though I, I like the way the figure came out there and just to be able to have like this whole unmatched series number three with so many members of Dark Order is really sick man I freaking love that I think that's awesome to have like a whole kind of theme for the wave and it's a bunch of new characters in one wave which I know a lot of you guys are going to be excited about so Evil Uno comes at us in unmatched series three and I like the way the figure came out so you have not only those three members of of the Dark Order there, man, but we also have everybody's favorite, man. We are looking at Mr. Brody Lee Unmatched Series number three, man. This figure looks phenomenal, man. R.I.P. to Brody Lee, and uh, th this figure looks great, man. I'm so excited for this figure. I I'm kind of worried about the feet. I feel like the feet may be a little bit too small. At least that's what I'm getting out of this out of this render image here, but the figure looks fantastic. I don't know what, you know, accessories he's going to come with. I did have an interaction with Jeremy Padauer on Twitter, and, uh, you know, it was about his inner, you know, his entrance coat that was cloth, and I said, you know, Jeremy, we need this in cloth form. Like, we have to have this in our AEW figure collections, and he said, I totally agree. I don't know if it's going to come with this figure, or if we're going to get it on a different Brody Lee down the line or something. However, the Brody Lee looks fantastic. Head sculpt looks phenomenal. I think it looks great. I like the formula we got. You got the Dark Order gear there, and I think Brody Lee looks good, man. So, I'm really excited for his first figure. He also said that uh, the, the family of Brody Lee is going to actually receive incentives for this figure sales because of his uh, his likeness and his deal there. So that is absolutely amazing news as well. But I knew you guys would be excited for the Brody Lee. Finally seeing the render. The head sculpt looks so good. And it looks like the proportions and everything look really good as well. So I'm super excited for Brody Lee. Probably my favorite one in the set, I would say, if I had to guess. But uh, I'm really enjoying this, man. But not only do we have Brody Lee, guys, we also have Anna J in this set, which is another figure that I know a lot of people are going to be excited about. Adding to the women's collections there. I will say, it looks like half her butt cheeks are hanging out. Is that me? or 
or is that a thing? I feel like that's a, a thing there, at least from all angles there. Maybe the Britt Baker was the same, or maybe I'm just tripping, but you do have the Anna J figure. It looks pretty good to me. Got the purple gear going on, all the different things. The women's collection slowly building up for our AEW figures, which is awesome. So hopefully, uh, again, lower boot rotation, hopefully to come with this Anna J figure, but expanding the women's collection with our AEW figures. Another new character there. So a bunch of new characters seeing in the Unmatched Series 3 wave, and that is awesome news. I know you guys are going to be excited about that. So that is our full Unmatched Series number 3 wave. Let's move on to Unmatched Series 4, where I think you guys are going to be really, really excited, man. Let's go ahead and uh, pull it up. AEW Unmatched Series number 4, guys, you guys will see on your screen. In this wave, man, we're going to be getting Jade, which is really awesome. I know that people are probably shocked to get a figure of her so quickly, but I think that's awesome. I think plugging her in there is going to be great. She should look great in action figure form as well. Again, adding upon that women's collection there, I think she'd be an awesome figure. You have Adam Hangman Page. We have Cody Rhodes. MJF, we have freaking, we have Corazon de Leon of Chris Jericho, a flashback Chris Jericho, I think I said that correctly, but this is actually about, I don't know if you guys watched the Chris Jericho or the Talk is Jericho podcast where he had Jeremy Padauer on to discuss collectibles, there is actually a, a rookie card of Chris Jericho from that time period that goes for a ton of money, and they were kind of joking back and forth, and this figure is actually inspired by that card and the rarity of that, and you guys know that Jeremy's a big time collector, so I think that is freaking, that's so funny freaking cool and the amount of Chris Jericho's that we saw today is absolutely insane which we'll get into but the Chris Jericho figure should be crazy but the big news in this set man is going to be C M Punk, bro. We are getting a CM Punk in Unmatched Series number four. I know you guys are going to be super excited about that because, like, that's insane, man. Like, I know Unmatched Series two is coming out, but Unmatched Series four will be here before we know it. We already have the renders for Series number three. Series number two should be it should be releasing very soon as well. We got the renders of them forever ago. So, dude, this this is crazy new CM Punk Unmatched Series number four, and I have been seeing you know Unmatched figures at at local retail. So. That CM Punk figure is going to be great, and you you guys know that it's going to be up for pre-order not too long from now on Ringside Collectibles. So CM Punk is going to be there, man, and this is actually not a real render. This is actually a fan-made render. Can't remember the guy who made it, but I think it's by John Lucas Reyes, but the figure looks great. I don't think they'll probably use that Orange Cassidy body mold for the CM Punk figure, and I don't... I, I mean, he may be the chase in the Series 4, but the CM Punk figure, man, is going to be insane. I think that's going to be absolutely great. Cannot wait to see what CM Punk attire we get, but I know you guys would be excited about seeing a CM Punk figure and, you know, when we're getting it, all of those different things. So, Unmatched Series 4 looks insane, man, but we still have a ton to get through, man, so let's go ahead and dive into more stuff. As we continue on, man, let's dive into AEW Unrivaled Collection Series number 8. And starting off Series number 8, man, we are getting into Orange Cassidy. Now, in now for this Orange Cassidy figure, you guys will probably notice that it's a lot similar to his Series 3 figure. I, I don't know if he's gonna come with, I think he comes with interchangeable heads one with the sunglasses already molded on there and then one without the sunglasses on there you guys will see from the neck down it's practically a series three figure so they, they did not take my advice and they did not give him you know the the non pocket features with articulated legs for better articulation you guys know if you own the series number three figure it's it's really difficult to pose around and uh, I was hoping that they would make the legs more poseable without the pocket feature and then you would just be able to switch those in and out depending on if you wanted the pockets in or the pockets out you get the mic holding hands you get the pockets in there you get the thumbs up hand. You do get elbow pad there. We are getting the elbow pad and you also get, you know, a new uh, jean jacket with best friends shirt there to go with the rest of the best friends in series number eight, which is pretty cool. You know, it's it's very similar to a series three figure a little bit differently there. Again, I wish they would have changed the legs articulation and seen. I mean, it, this is just a render, you know, they may change it, but I doubt it. I, I bet it'll be very, you know, just the same as a series three, but the orange Cassidy figure does look good. You know, I'm not harping on it. Well, let's move on to the rest of the wave. We have John Mox here and this Moxley is a pretty boring figure you know it's just his black gear it's it's basically a repaint you know it's the series 5 pretty much it looks like the same exact head sculpt as the series 5 which is kind of garb but uh, he is going to come with a leather jacket not too big on the leather jacket but he does have the black gear with the orange mox I do like the orange mox there you could throw the best on there to match as well but uh, not the most exciting figure kind of a boring release again since we're getting these repaints hopefully the tooling will be a little bit better the legs won't be as loose the torso and things of that nature so maybe that'll be the case but John 
Moxley is a part of series number eight. We also have two different versions of Chris Jericho, I'm pretty sure. So there's two different versions of Chris Jericho because he is the Chase variant in this set. And I believe the Chase version, I believe the regular version is going to be the one in the painted on inner circle shirt with the pain maker face paint hat and sick ass jacket for the Chris Jericho. You guys will notice that it's kind of, it's pretty much a repaint of uh, other Chris Jerichos we've gotten. You got the black pants, you have the inner circle t-shirt painted on. He does have black wrist tape on there. He's got the black hat and he does have the, the you know, the pain maker face. And then he does have the sick, you know, spike jacket. The spike jacket is really sick. It is rubber though, of course, but not only do we have this version, we also have the Chase variant version of Jericho, which is going to be pretty much the Series 6 figure, man. And I don't know if actually, I don't, I don't even know if this is the Chase variant or not, but this is pretty much the Series 6 figure. You got the yelling face sculpt. You got the scarf. You do get the spike jacket, which is cool, but the black pants. This will be a very boring chase, so I feel like the inner circle pain maker Jericho is the chase figure because this would be a pretty boring chase if it's just the jacket with the, you know, it's basically the Series 6 with a spike jacket and uh, plain black pants there, so I don't know. Uh, I'll have to get back to you guys on that. Maybe I can pin a comment, but the Chris Jericho there is also going to come with a baseball bat, and uh, the Series 8 Jericho is looking a little bit plain Jane. In the rest of the set, man, you do have Trent, you have Chris Statlander, and you do have Chuck Taylor, so we, you know, we already took a look at that a couple weeks ago, I do believe, or a, a few weeks back, or, or a week ago, or whatever that was, so we did take a look at Chuck Taylor, Trent, and Chris Statlander, which does make out the rest of our Series 8, and if we move on, guys, to Series number 9, we do get a little bit more exciting here, because we have a ton of new characters. We have Eddie Kingston, Thunder Rosa, Ricky Starks, Christian, Powerhouse Hobbs, and Brian Cage, so a full wave of brand new figures. I know you guys are going to be really excited about that, so it did take, you know, 9 Series to get a bunch of people that were brand new, but they're there, you know, it's a really exciting news, again, having Eddie Kingston's first figure is going to be awesome, Thunder Rosa adding to the women's collection again, Ricky Starks, Christian, Powerhouse Hobbs, and Brian Cage, lots of new talent right there, not some great molds, can't wait to see what these figures look like, I'm really excited to see the new guys, and you know, everything coming forward, I know that uh, all these figures are going to look great, and I can't wait to see what Christian's figure looks like up to his, you know, his Mattel Elite, having Eddie Kingston again is sick, Brian Cage, man, it's so crazy to see these guys, you know, we've been seeing these guys for years, and then to see them have their own action figures in an official company seeing it on the shelves and stuff man that is super sick and a really cool part of collecting but that is all of series nine right there so we had unmatched series three unmatched series four with cm punk unrivaled collection series number eight images and we had the announcement of unrivaled collection series number nine guys but we're not done there because we actually have even more stuff to cover and you guys are not going to believe some of this stuff man you not you're not going to believe some of this stuff first up we do have a ringside exclusive lights out match with Britt baker now we don't have a full image of the figure but we we do have the head sculpts, so she's going to have two interchangeable bloody head sculpts here. You have sort of a serious face, and then you do have the smiling face. I will say, super sick to have the blood on there, and I will say also, this head sculpt looks way better than her uh, unmatched figure. I think this head sculpt looks phenomenal. I think that the likeness to Britt Baker is a lot more on this head sculpt compared to her others, and uh, this should be a really sick figure with the blood on there and everything like that. I really love the blood theme that we get for these ringside exclusives. It's really cool. I think it's really unique as well, and uh, you know, once we get so many more blood figures, when you put them all up on the shelf, it's going to be a bloody mess, but it's going to be sick AF. So the Britt Baker looks great. Can't wait to see what the rest of the full figure looks like. But not only do we have the Britt Baker ringside exclusive, guys, we also are going to be getting a two-pack exploding barbed wire deathmatch ringside exclusive two-pack with John Moxley and Kenny Omega. Look at this set right here. We don't know, I don't think, the full details on the accessories that we're going to be getting, but you guys will notice that the John Moxley is a little bit plain Jane. You do have the, the white tape on there. You also have the bloody head sculpt, the bloody body there. Again, I don't know what head sculpts or not head sculpts. I don't know what accessories we're going to get. I don't know if Kenny's going to come with his shirt and vice versa, but the John Moxley is actually the chase variant from series number five without the eye patch on it, so that's a pretty cool way to get that head sculpt. Maybe you can customize that, put that on one of your other figures. But the Kenny Omega is also a brand new head sculpt, bloody head. You have the white wrist tape. He is in his like jeans with knee pads, which is a unique look and stuff, but uh, very cool, man. I think it's awesome. Again, we don't know if it's going to come with maybe a cloth bloody shirt. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. I don't know if they can get the images or whatever from that shirt. I feel like they could, but I guess we'll have to see at a later date. Hopefully the packaging on these will be as great as well for mock collectors and stuff. But 
a really cool two pack. So we have the Britt Baker ringside exclusive, and then we have the Exploding Barbed Wire Deathmatch two pack with Kenny Omega and John Moxley in the bloodied up face paint. Face paint. What am I saying? You guys get what I mean. But not only that, guys, we also have other exclusives here, and we're diving in, man. An AEW shop exclusive, and it's going to be Chris Jericho. So you guys will see. We have Chris Jericho. It looks very similar to the Series 6 again, man. You got the, the Chris Jericho shirt. He's got the yelling face again. Baseball bat accessory. And I think this is different than his Series 8 figure, man. This isn't the same. So you have the two Series 8 figures. You have this AEW shop exclusive Jericho, which I don't really get what the appeal is. I don't know if it'll have special packaging. I think it's going to have special packaging with like Le Champion on the side and stuff like that, which will be really cool. But again, the figure's kind of plain Jane. You know, it looks a lot similar to a lot of the other Chris Jerichos that we've gotten. But speaking of, you know, exclusives and stuff, this is a shop AEW exclusive. We are also getting the Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho with the two jacket sets. So you guys know uh, we got another yelling head sculpt, two jackets, black tights, AEW microphone. Really cool packaging. I love the way it looks with the gear pack with the different jackets. You know, we've covered this in many videos, many news, many leak videos that we've done here on the channel with the AEW figures. But to have the pink jacket and the white jacket officially announced there, Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho. Again, another Jericho, man. So in all, like you have the... The Unmatched Series number 4 Jericho, you have the Series 8 Jericho, the Series 8 Chase Jericho, you have the Amazon Exclusive Jericho, and then you have the uh, Shop AEW Exclusive Jericho. So five Jericho figures announced, if I'm not mistaken, at this juncture in this video, which is insane. Like, to add with a little bit of the Bubbly Jericho, the Series 1 Jericho, the Series 1B Jericho, the little, you know, there's so many different Jericho figures, but, uh, you know, uh, I, I love Chris Jericho, so I guess that works. But we're moving on here, man. Not only do we have the Shop AEW Exclusive Jericho and the Amazon Exclusive Jericho, Jericho. We also have a few two packs to get into right here. And the first two pack that we're going to dive into, guys, is going to be a Kenny Omega and Hangman Page Amazon exclusive two pack, which is going to come with the AEW Tag Team Championships. It's basically kind of like the Series 4. Kenny Omega combined with the Series 5 Adam Hangman page. Hopefully these figures have tighter joints because these are pretty much straight up re-releases with the AEW Tag Team Championship. So they are a, you know, Amazon exclusive. They have the tag titles. They they look amazing mock. I love the way they look mock, but these are pretty much just re-releases there. And hopefully, you know, maybe the tooling will be better on the Hangman page, not as loose legs, things of that nature. Another two-pack that we already knew we were getting, guys, is going to be the SCU Amazon exclusive two-pack. Another two-pack Amazon exclusive with the tag team championships again so maybe they're just trying to get some of those AEW tag team championships out into circulation but we already know we we're getting this their repaints again you have the red and yellow gear the red gear looks sick for Scorp Scorpio Sky I love the way these figures look but they are also going to come with the AEW tag team championships this is something we've covered again in leaked videos and leaked news videos so you know, if you want the heads up on AEW figures coming soon, man, be sure to uh, subscribe and turn on the bell there. But the last little two-pack that we have right here, guys, is going to be a John Moxley and Darby Allen Amazon exclusive two-pack. So all these two-packs right here are going to be Amazon exclusive, but you have a Darby Allen figure, which is pretty much a re-release of the Series 3 Darby, and then a re-release of the Series 5 John Moxley with the AEW Championship. Again, they look incredible, Mock. I love the way they look in the packaging. Both figures side by side. Championship in the middle, you get some cool accessories. You get the barbed wire bat, you get the skateboard, which is really awesome. I can't wait to, you know, get these in hand and just see the figures mock. And it's kind of dumb because if I'm going to review these, I'm going to have to order two of each two pack there. And just trying to keep up with this mock collection is going to be something serious. Already, my pay the wallet is already hurting looking at this. However, the figures do look good, even though they are re releases. And then I think. I think this is the last figure that we have to show off here today, guys, and it is actually going to be a UK exclusive Smith's Action Ring with Adam Hangman Page figure, which this is another re-release of not only the Series 5 Adam Hangman Page, but the one that is coming in the Amazon exclusive 2-pack with Kenny Omega, but it is a basic AEW ring with Adam Hangman Page, and again... If they re-release this figure again, please make it where the legs are not so John Brown loose compared to a Series 5. A series fi his Series 5 figure is borderline un- like, I can't even, like, pick it up. Like, the legs almost just fall off the guy. So hopefully, this basic ring, the Smith exclusive, 
with the uh, and the two pack will be a lot better but man how many crazy things that we get man this is absolutely insane news all the different figure reveals five Chris Jericho shown off that's that's just nutty man that's absolutely nutty but Brody Lee CM Punk great action figure news to start off our day before we get to All Out tonight man but All Out Fan Fest was a success I like what we got we still have series 7 coming as well AEW and match series 2 coming soon but tons of great stuff shown off some things I'm really really excited about and I mean some head scratchers of course but we kind of already knew about all these two packs and Amazon exclusive stuff because we've covered it in the news videos and the leaks that we've covered but CM Punk figures coming Brody Lee's coming very exciting stuff man Dark Order gonna be completed there with all the good stuff man but I think that is gonna wrap up the news video I know it was a ton of stuff I do apologize I feel like I've been sitting here yapping forever but I hope you guys did enjoy and I would love to know all of your thoughts on all the new AEW action figures shown off at All Out Fan Fest man it was absolutely crazy show can't wait for All Out itself I know that uh, we've had some issues there but it should be a great show can't wait to see CM Punk back in the ring but that is gonna do it for the, the video guys let me know again what your favorite reveal was how excited are you what do you think of all these like repaints and, and re releases and things of that nature i'm getting out of here guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like the 652 re-releases that we are getting you cross the line i've been